My name is Mary Conroy and I am an artist uh, from Kilkenny but in Limerick 20 years so I'm from Limerick now at this stage I think. I was asked to do this uh, the year before last, it was late 2018 and the council bought this site and uh, I don't know what the plans are for it yet but this space was derelict, there was a, a, a yard here and they knocked a building so this wall was bare. And they want to have something in the meantime to make it a bit more interesting, a bit more, have a bit more life in the place, I suppose. So I decided to base it on uh, the River Shannon and the salmon, really, because a lot of my own work is about the River Shannon, about wildlife, about urban nature and urban biodiversity and how we connect with it. But this space was also used as a salmon packing plant. That building behind us was a salmon packing plant. They used to catch the fish on the weir here. Um, I had a, a meeting with the residents uh, in late 2018 and we had a, a chat about what what they would like to see here, their memories of the space, what a piece of public art would, would work here, what kind of image they'd like to see and um, met with them a couple of times and came up with some designs and we decided that it really it would be something to do with the river itself because a lot of people grew up here, it's a very old neighbourhood, it's a really lovely neighbourhood, I, lo I love Gate. it's a really really old neighbourhood. So a lot of people remember when this this was a working factory. A lot of people call this site the distillery site as well. There used to be a whiskey distillery here, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. But it all, again, the whiskey was here because the water comes from the Shannon. So it's really, it's a connection with the river itself. And I think for me, the salmon, because it's got such a, a history, it's got so, it's, there's so much folklore with it. Um, and it's really, it's really special. And they're really in decline now as well. So I kind of, I want to put these up here so t to connect the community with their past, with the with the industry that was here, with the river itself, with nature, and to try and keep it as something, something kind of calm as well. You know, I mean, there's houses right across the road that have to open their curtains and look at this every day. So I wanted to keep it keep it connected to the space, very very definitely connected to the history of the space, the industry of the space. We did a workshop as part of Make a Move Festival um, in Ormston House last summer. Uh, where members of the public were invited to come. Some of the people that I'd met at the residence meeting came along and they made some of the fish themselves. So it was kind of a way to get people involved in the actual making process, but to have a kind of ownership of the space itself, but also to let people be an artist and let people create and make. So the, the you know, I made moulds for the salmon and people came and they filled the moulds with clay, we pulled them out and they made the stencils and cleaned them and dried them. And it was, it was great actually. I, I had a lot more people show up than I was expecting. And uh, it was really nice to be able to share that experience of making with people. Because people don't get to make a whole lot, especially with ceramics because it's such a specialised material. So it was really lovely to, to allow people or to help people. Well, people helped me and I helped them, I suppose to uh, create these works and then to have it have it on the wall here I think is, is kind of special. I live just up the road from here so I get to cross the river every day. I love it. Every time I walk past it it's different. The high tides and the low tides. Seen it recently with the spring tides and it was so low it was like a beach. Was, the, half the town right there it was gorgeous. It was like a beach in the city you know to go and explore that space and especially with the lockdown because we could only go two kilometres but I mean go two kilometres either side of Thoman Bridge would be just up the road here very near to me, two kilometres either side of that is an adventure. You know, especially with the water and the wildlife. And uh, there's a really lovely walk on Kings Island here. You know, you can see the swans. It's it's gorgeous. It's, it's a breath of fresh air as well, right through the city. Um, so I just think, I think, I think we need to celebrate it a bit, a bit more, but also the wildlife that's in it. You know, people think of the, the river as something to be used. But you know, it, it's its own entity as well. It's its own life, and it's it's been around far longer than most of us. And so have these fish, so have these salmon. You know, the Abbey fishermen were fishing as far back as the 1300s. Like, I think that's amazing, and that's how important these animals, these fish, were to this city. You know, it was a whole industry. Yeah, I, I just think it's something that we need to remember and think about. Because it's, I just think we have such short memories in the way things are at the moment. I think it's good to remember the importance, not just that everything is for us to use, but that everything is its own being in itself as well, you know. This was all here before us, and we, exactly. we think we own it all. 